Hey, Cody. Oh, hey. I'm glad you're looking to the heavens because there's a lot going on in space. Oh, yeah? Everybody else hung up on politics and, and all the other crazy things going on on this planet. Space is super interesting right now and nobody's talking about it. Let's. Let's do it. So there's this probe called Osiris Rex. It's a probe that we sent to an asteroid. It's gonna land first. on the asteroid? It's gonna land on the asteroid. It's gonna collect samples from it and then it's gonna bring them back. And you think, oh, okay, probe going to space and check out an asteroid, really cool. cool. But also part of the mission is that the probe is going to redirect the asteroid's path because the asteroid might be headed toward Earth. Like Armageddon? Like Armageddon. Uh, like exactly like Armageddon. But uh, that's not the lead story you're getting about it. So like the headline they could have gone with is like Armageddon, the movie is but they and went would with be like robot to collect rocks. The probe is supposed to come back, not just at some time, it's coming back September 24th, 2023 at 9 a.m. I guess that'll be the middle of Trump's third term. <laughs> yeah, it's about right. This didn't need to turn into a Trump conversation. That's what that's what we do in America. We just go to Trump with everything. Let's bring it back to, now I want to talk about Proxima B. Oh, that sounds close. It is 4.2 light years away. That sounds less close. It turns out it has a planet that could be Earth-like. That's like, that's news. We know there are thousands and thousands and thousands and millions of stars, and we assume that there are billions and billions of planets in all of those things. So we're slowly finding all of these planets and finding that a lot of them are Earth-like. It's very cool that we found one of those at the star that is closest to us. And this one's right here. It's four years away. Yeah. If you're light. Yeah. But like, if you're not light, it's like, hundred years away. Yeah, I got that kind of time. Who doesn't these days? <laughs> With all po the politics. Oh, oh, it's back. Okay, we're gonna hold it together. SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Yes. The Russians found a signal, and then a year later they started telling people about it. <laughs> what the f and the signal could be aliens. The trick is to get like a repeat signal, because then it's probably made by a being that's thinking about it and then it means it's aliens. Right, which is the logical thing you'd do. You wouldn't just say like, look at me once. Well, you don't want to seem needy. You know? Right, but I mean, if you think they're the only beings in the galaxy, <laughs> like that loneliness can get to you. <laughs> I feel like they didn't address enough the fact that Russia knew about this a year ago. I get, you know, the political climate and like, you don't mm. necessarily want to share information with everybody all the time, but we're in this together in terms of this particular subject, like space stuff and aliens, right? all of that. This is, it, we're all just in it together. Cause a year ago they got this, they could have told somebody and maybe now a year later, yeah. we would have detected another one or at least deciphered within the signal that there's like a bunch of aliens going like thumbs up, like an ASCII sort of like <laughs> message. Or like email it to us and go ahead and be passive aggressive about it. Like get your insults and right, stuff right. And, Like here's the signal you pigs of capitalism. Yeah, da, da, da. Photoshop Drago like Noogie and Rocky <laughs> or something. It's fine. I just want to know about the signal. So there's a galaxy made out of dark matter. It's 99.9% .9 dark matter according to the story I read. And that's very confusing because we don't totally know what dark matter is or how to even see it. But how do we know that when we don't know what dark matter is? So, it, so it, it's about the size of the Milky Way, which is where we live, very big, but it gives off 1% as much light despite having so much stuff because it's all dark matter. They call it dark matter because it literally it doesn't give off light. What if, I mean, this is just a regular galaxy, but they've all learned to harness its energy. So they're-, oh, they're... like it's all Dyson spheres around yeah. everything. Yeah. Dyson sphere is you build it around a star and then just all the star's energy gets sucked into your sphere and then you get to use it. Yeah, for whatever. Yeah. Maybe they did that. That would be awesome. This is the thing. I know a lot of these space stories are sort of arcane. They're sort of technical, but also I feel like it, the news would be more enjoyable if it was like part politics and part just this epic interstellar stuff. There's no way to really talk about these sort of things in an exciting way that makes people that don't know what they mean excited. Especially because even the scientists are still figuring out a lot of them. Right, it's really still like it a very, dry, kind of confusing story, even if you know what it's talking about. All the space news should get trailers, like movies. I feel like we spend a lot of time on other sources of wonder, like yeah. comic book movies, right. or music, or hey, look at this, uh, the cat fell down and then he got it. You know, right, why not, right, why not right. spend a little time on, hey, this telescope spotted a realm of aliens, maybe. This telescope found a realm of aliens, maybe. Like, that's a headline I'd click on, that's really yeah. cool. Even with the maybe? Even with the maybe? Phew. I mean, it's not super it's not, sure. It's not a clean headline. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. In the comments, please share any space news that you know about. It can be like a fun hangout. 
Yeah, something happens in space every single second. So tell us what your favorite second is. It's this one. Oh.